all to what you have seen just now so these were some of the clips from uh, when i went to dsc summit in goa held on 23rd august 2019 and we had some amazing 3 days stay at one of the five star hotels in goa it was completely sponsored by google and the experience was totally amazing Hi everyone this is Ashwin I'm back again with yet another amazing video in this video we're going to discuss about DSC Lead Applications 2021 so DSC Lead basically it's developer student clubs lead by google developers the applications for this for the current batch are open and the due date is may 1st so if you haven't already applied for this and you're interested in applying for DSC Lead so check out this complete video and we'll be discussing each and everything about this program how you can apply for this program what are some of the perks and benefits of this program Uh, what is the eligibility criteria how can you make your application better and what all things you need to know before filling this application so let's start with what this dsc is so dsc stands for developer student clubs it's a community by google developers all over the world like there are a large number of dscs in india last year close to 278 campuses had this dsc program so it's basically a community program where students come together they collaborate on various projects they build some uh, cool applications they sit together they organize workshops they organize meetups events and basically the major objective is how we can empower others in our community and make ourselves better so with uh, keeping this objective in mind and uh, empowering more and more students more and more people through events by uh, imparting knowledge by conducting workshops so the experience has been totally very amazing when i talk about my particular experience i have been at the dsc lead at nit jalandhar for the year 2019 and 2020 and the complete year has been totally amazing we conducted more than 30 plus uh, online offline events during this tenure which included various hackathons which included some seminars workshops also we built some cool projects in uh, throughout this program and i led a team of around uh, 40 people in my campus who worked along with me who worked with me together they also conducted workshops they also participated in certain events and the results have been super amazing uh talking about my particular campus and dsc so um, dsc conducts one solution challenge which is an internationally uh, acknowledged program by dscs so our campus at nit jalandhar was one of the only campus selected all over india to represent uh, this dsc solution challenge in the finals so coming on to uh, what are other things that we did as a part of dsc we uh, conducted events on uh, various technologies like machine learning like web development like android uh, cloud like these are some of the names but uh, each and everything like from very beginning to how you can crack placements each and everything has been covered in one form or the another now let's come on to what are the perks and benefits of being a dsc lead what do you get as a dsc lead Although this DSC lead, being a DSC lead is totally a community service, a voluntary service, there is no monetary thing involved in the whole process. But yet, the experience that you get, the uh, knowledge that you get, the networking that you get is super amazing. So uh, let me list down some of the important perks that uh, you can expect out of this program. So first and most important thing is your leadership skills, your communication skills, and you will come out as a better personality. Like. leading a team and organizing events with them so that will make you more and more confident and that will ultimately impact how you uh, pursue ahead your career with the next important benefit is like uh, you uh, come together with a group of friends you collaborate on certain projects like those projects can be listed on your resume and you can like ultimately lead you to a better developer the third important benefit that i would say is you get to know a lot of people you get to talk to interact with a lot of people there are a lot of events that uh, are being conducted within your campus within campuses nearby there are events such as dev fest by uh, gdg so dscs collaborate with them also uh, international women's day is celebrated in collaboration with dscs like there are a lot of events that you will go you will uh, uh, have a chance to speak at those events when when you are dsc lead so there are a lot of networking opportunities and you know the benefit of a good network the next opportunity next benefit that i would say is like uh, generally they conduct a summit by uh, google dscs that is in which uh, all the dsc leads from all over india come together at a certain place they uh, like 
that is a fun filled activity like along with that the lot of learning sessions sessions on leadership session on development sessions on uh, how you can uh, be a good leader so that is also one of the amazing experiences next benefit that i would like to say is like uh, there are weekly things there are uh, bi weekly things by the community managers at google so they'll talk to you they'll ask if you're facing any issues if you're facing any problem if you have any new ideas you can you want to implement in your dscs what kind of resources that you need like uh, there are certain resources that you can request for like you can get some cloud credit some uh, like various resources various learning materials so the experience and benefits are a lot so this is going to be super amazing once you are a dsc lead you will experience that it is something unique and it will add value to your resume add value to your personality next talking about the eligibility criteria for this particular program so when you are eligible to apply for being a dsc lead so at least one year of your college should be there before you can apply for this particular program and you should be like a uh, good enough in development like you should be either skilled in one of the uh, one of the particular uh, technologies like whether you should know either machine learning or deep learning you should know either android development or web development so it depends upon which particular technology are you most familiar with and like this is basically the thing that is most required as a eligibility criteria and your passion to lead your passion to uh, conduct events and your passion to like uh, organize a community that matters the most and one thing i missed out on swags like all of us love swags so you will have an opportunity to get a lot of swags on boarding kit your uh, farewell kit your uh, swags in between also you can request some swags for particular events like when they conduct gcp uh, crash course when they conduct a uh, certain android workshop so this is also one of the by products i would say as uh, one of the perks of being a dsc lead so now let's come on to the application procedure how you can apply for this particular opportunity uh, the applications for this year are open until 1st may in india different countries have their own deadlines so check out the deadlines on the page i have given the link in the description below you can click on that link and you will get the application link for dsc leads 2021 so there are basically three steps in the process first process is one application form online application form that you need to fill and there are certain essay type questions different questions to test your personality how you can speak how you lead what have been your experiences so all that you need to list in that application form we'll discuss about some of the things of that application form also the second thing is a video which you need to make telling them why you should be chosen as a dsc lead and what are the prospects of you being a dsc lead why you were a good choice for the dsc lead for your campus secondly and after these two rounds uh, there is one interview round that is being scheduled by one of the community managers at google so these are the three things that are there in the process so we'll discuss about all these three steps in detail on to how you can make your application better how you how you should write your answers and uh, what are the chances of getting selected for this particular program so the first important thing is the application form so basically you will get some essay type questions so these essay type questions will basically focus upon one thing your leadership skills uh, your organizing experience your development skills like on to which particular technology you are familiar with and how you can lead a particular community the third important thing is uh, your confidence your uh, experiences your uh, previous experiences so these are the things that will matter when you will write that application form so what i would suggest is be true to yourself don't fake anything because that will ultimately lead you to problem in the interview rounds so try to mention whatsoever you know actually like if you have been a part of certain events if you have been a part of hackathons if you have conducted certain hackathons if you uh, like if you have development experience like you need to share your github profile link as well maybe uh, you can put all your projects that you have made on that github link so these are some of the things that i would say you should keep in mind while writing that application uh, for this particular program and there is one uh, provision for nomination codes so if you have uh, already a dsc on your campus so then you can contact your current dsc leads he'll, he'll give you a nomination code that is basically a referral code that will give you a bit of edge over other applicants from your college although it is not a necessary thing that you should have that nomination code but yeah that can give you an edge over other applicants and the provision for that is the dsc lead can give nomination code to only three candidates and this is being started from this year only so 
uh, do check out with your DSC lead and explain him why you should be given that nomination code. So you can uh, check out with your DSC lead and ask for that nomination code as well. The second pro second thing in the process is a video the, which you sh uh, need to shoot onto uh, how you can uh, be why why you should be chosen as a DSC lead. So basically, in that video, you should uh, list down what is the most important thing is your confidence, how confidently you are speaking, how freak like what is the fluency in your speech, and what are things you are listing like the content of your video. Like, have you listed down the experiences? Have you listed down? Uh, your uh, development experience why do you want to be a dsc lead so these are some of the things that you should focus on to when it comes to uh, the video the third important thing is after these two rounds if you're shortlisted you will be called for an interview basically it would be a telephonic interview or it would be a, a zoom call or a meet interview in which you will be basically asked about uh, yourself about your experiences about your application that you have already filled on like basically they'll test you on to like what you have written is true and uh, like do you have certain experience you don't need to prepare for this particular interview but yeah you should be confident enough you should be uh, able to present yourself in a better way so that will make your application better so these are the three steps on to how you can uh, apply and how you can get selected for dsc lead 2021 I hope you are clear with most of the things on how you can apply for being a DSC lead and if you are interested I would say go ahead and check out the link right now and apply for DSC lead and you can ping me for questions in the comment section of this YouTube video and I'll reply to all your queries on to how you can make your applications better how you can uh, uh, make the things look good you can also contact other DSC leads who have been into this uh, DSCs for DSC program for the previous year or previous to previous year. So do get your application reviewed by them before submitting and I would recommend you to just give it a try and do let me know for any queries. Thanks a lot. Good luck. All the best. Bye bye.